In my last video, I did the two hour bench test on the recent batch of Goggles X, the one that Kadex said to have better hardware. New heat resistant OLED screens, new fan, and new heat sink. Note that mine came with a stock plate, but the heat sink upgrade was included as well in the package. However, it was not installed. After posting the video, I got some feedback that the January 2024 batch now has the upgraded heat sink installed in the factory. Even if Kadex told me that the new batch does not necessarily need the heatsink upgrade, it seems to me that now they are getting more cautious. So I finally decided to install mine. Not that I had overheating problems, but I did the mod to see how much improvement the heatsink will give. This will finally answer the questions about the heatsink, whether it's just a placebo effect or does it really help. Let's get going. Similar to what I did in the last test, I'm powering the VTX from the 12 volts back of my flight controller. The VTX is cooled by a fan while it operates at 1200 milliwatts. The Goggles X is connected to an external screen via HDMI, so expect it to have higher temperatures compared to when normally used. And the same as before, we will monitor the temperatures of LED 1, LED 2, and Goggles Stem. Before proceeding, let's make sure to set the VTX to 1200 milliwatts. Standby mode off, take off recording disabled, so we can initialize recording manually. Finally, we can disable the OSD from the flight controller too. Alright, so it's now 12 o'clock, we can start the measurements. Here are the initial values at time 0. 30 minutes have passed. Let us look at the data now. We got LED 1 at 55.7 degrees Celsius. LED 2 at 44.99 degrees Celsius and the Goggles temp at 64.64 degrees Celsius. And here are the data from 60 minutes and 90 minutes interval. So the 2 hour test was completed. The temperature on LED 1 is now at 62.13 degrees Celsius, LED 2 at 47.14 degrees Celsius and the goggles temp at 69.46 degrees Celsius. Take note that I did the bench test inside my room at 29 to 30 degrees Celsius ambient temperature. Comparing it with the previous test that I had with the stock heatsink, it can be clearly seen how much decrease in temperature was yielded by the heatsink upgrade. I also computed for the percent difference as well. Interestingly, the goggles temp had about 16% decrease in the reading. This is important to note since heated air is pushed out by the goggles and some of which will most likely go towards your face. That 10 degrees lower temperature in my case should definitely help improve the user's comfort. As a conclusion, in my honest opinion, the heatsink upgrade is worth doing. It's a simple solution that works. If you own a goggles from the older batch that has heating issues, then definitely get the upgrade. It's free anyway. If you are one of those who are still about to get the Goggles X, then it would be a good time, especially that the upgraded heatsink is now installed from the factory, along with the hardware improvements. No need to do your own customizations to make it run cooler. Kudos to Radex for working hard to get this stuff better. What do you think about these improvements? Let me know your thoughts by leaving a comment. This is Wind FPV. I'll see you around.